Welcome to the Wine Education Institute series on what to expect from the Wine and Spirit Education Trust Level 1 Award in Spirits. The WSET Level 1 Award in Spirits is intended for people who have little or no prior knowledge of spirits. Um, it's designed to provide a basic but still solid foundation to the spirits world. If you are just entering the bar or restaurant business, this will help you develop a familiarity with the main styles and categories of spirits. Or if you are just a passionate consumer, this is a great place to gain a foundation for your own personal journey. Now our typical classes see about half and half of each. Now passing the certification means you'll have the ability to describe the primary spirits categories, state their defining characteristics, and know the key principles involved in the storage and service of spirits. However, if you have more than a couple of years of experience either behind the bar, restaurant, or even as a passionate consumer, we will often allow you to start your spirits journey at level two without the related cost or time to complete level one first. Now, like many WSET courses, you have the choice to do it either in class or online. Now, the online format is a little bit more affordable and flexible regarding the time to complete but a great benefit to the in-class version is being able to taste and evaluate a number of spirits with your instructor and peers. Now, this workbook is incorporated into the online curriculum. The in-class, you will get this book to actually work from the day of a class. We usually teach this class in a single, rather full day, and taste about 10 different spirits as we learn the WSET's systematic approach to tasting. Now, in some locations, we'll include a hands-on cocktail creation lab with these classes. Now, the online classes involve about six hours of study as well, but it's spread out over a four-week period. You can pretty much proceed at your own pace, although you do have a tutor who will guide you through the process and specifically each of the learning modules. Now, there are no specific times that you have to be online, but regular participation, of course, allows you to get the most out of the experience. All the online classes still require traveling to an approved program provider like us to take the exam. And we hope you'll consider studying with us as we are not only one of the most affordable, but we have some additional support tools that we've developed to help ensure your success through your entire WSET pathway. Now, please note that actual consumption of spirits is not a prerequisite to successful completion of this program. None of the, actually none of the level one or two courses contain a tasting portion of the exam. We have had successful students who don't drink at all, and we are happy to work with you to achieve your career goals without creating conflicts in your personal, cultural, or religious life. Now, regardless of the path that you choose, there are three main objectives to the course. One is to list and state the purpose of the main production processes and understand the stills commonly used in the production of spirits. Then, two, you're going to understand the principal categories or types of spirits and be able to define their expected characteristics. And three, you're going to know and recognize the common equipment and principles involved in the storage and service of spirits. Now, the entirety of the course can be achieved in about six hours of study time, whether that's a single day or over the four weeks allowed in the uh, online format. So with the first objective, when we're talking about production processes, this refers to the four steps that all spirits go through. You have the processing of a raw material, you have fermenting that raw material, then you have distillation of the fermented raw material, and then you have what happens after distillation. So we're going to talk about the two primary still types, column and pot, and why either of them may be used. This section will also include a discussion on how these production techniques, how the raw materials, aging, maceration of ingredients, addition of sweeteners, redistillation, uh, dilutions, etc., all affect the final product. And there's about 15% of the exam questions come from this part of the curriculum. Now, the second objective involves gaining an understanding of the world's leading categories or types of spirits and what differentiates them from each other. By leading categories, we're talking about brandy, specifically cognac, tequila, vodka, whiskey in bourbon, scotch, Canadian, and Irish styles, and then types of rum as well as flavored liqueurs. This includes learning which raw materials are used in each of these spirit categories and which production techniques are either mandated or suggested at least for the category. 
Additionally, you'll learn key labeling terms for each of the principal categories of spirits. Now, a full two-thirds of the exam questions come from this section. Now, the last objective involves understanding the practical world of spirits behind a bar how to store spirits, the tools of a bartender, the appropriate glassware, and the foundation of cocktail creation. Now this is about 15% of the exam questions. Now, here at the Wine Education Institute, we often include a hands-on cocktail creation lab as part of our in-class sessions to give you practice and innate understanding of these concepts. Now, after studying online, you'll still have to travel to a WSET approved program provider to take your exam. Now, our primary testing centers are located just outside of Denver, but we have satellite locations across the U.S. We at the Wine Education Institute also understand that Mother Nature or just life can get in the way of your studying and career advancement plans. So, just give us notice and we are one of the only APPs who will reschedule your exam at no cost if you need, so just let us know. The closed book exam consists of 30 multiple choice questions that you'll have 45 minutes to answer. You do need a 70% to pass, and our pass rate for level spirits is actually 100%. We've never had a student run out of time in the exam, so you'll be able to take the time to really read each question before answering. Now, you won't get your results back right away. We have to send the exams back to London for processing, and that can take two to three weeks. We do get an email before we get the pins and certificates, so rest assured we will let you know as soon as we hear what your score is. And at the Wine Education Institute, your tuition includes delivery of your certificate and PIN anywhere in the U.S. by priority mail. So with regard to the types of questions that you might see on the Level 1 Award in Spirits exam, um, questions would be, what would be the color of a uh, new make spirit? Um, what is a Hawthorne strainer used for? Um, why is barley important in the whiskey process? Which is older, Reposado or Añejo tequila? or what raw materials are you able to use in the creation of vodka. While this may sound like a lot, remember that this is only six hours of instruction. So while a lot is covered, we don't go too deep into each of these segments. For example, the discussion of brandy only considers cognac, doesn't touch on Armagnac. Uh, the agave spirit section doesn't talk about mezcal. For that and much more, you're going to want to look at the level two spirits. So. We hope this helps you understand the WSET Level 1 Award in Spirits. Feel free to ask any specific questions in the comments below or just shoot us an email to info at edu.wine. We'd be happy to answer any questions regardless of whether you're a student of ours or not. But we'd love to have you in one of our classes or as an online student. Uh, class schedules are regularly updated at edu.wine. And while we have satellite testing and teaching centers across the world, we're also happy to travel anywhere to teach and test this curriculum. Best of luck and cheers.